Okay, so we're at the um, lab that I work in, and JP, the grad student I work with, is going to give us a tour. <laughs> hey, Charles. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Alright. So, um, this is the Museum of Comparative Zoology Laboratories, and it's connected with the Museum of Comparative Zoology, which is right there. So that's where all of the collections are, um, and some of the offices of um, museum personnel, and also where the public exhibit is. Um, but this is where a lot of the research for the labs connected with the museum goes on. Um. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this. Um, this um, building is so ugly because it was made during the 1970s, which was a horrible decade for architecture in the United States. <laughs> it's not that ugly. I like the burnt orange. <laughs> And the giant letters on the side. Um, so we're on the second floor. The second floor is shared between two labs. Um, our lab, the lab of Hopi Kukshra, and um, the lab of Jonathan Mossos. And he studies um, anomalous lizards. And we obviously study um, wild mice in the genus Pelagius. Um, so <laughs> this is it. And I'm going to give you a little tour starting with the tea room. So this is where we um, hold our lab meetings and we give presentations. There's the warthog in the corner for inspiration when we think about mammals. Um, and this is also kind of where people tend to eat lunch. And as you can see from the whiteboards, people do a lot of thinking in here. Um, we do a lot of sort of collaborative brainstorming in this room. And sometimes we nap on the couch. There's a lot of good energy going on here. <laughs> um, this, is our, uh, <laughs> this is our alcohol bottle collection. As you can see, there's kind of, there's a little bit of a feud going on here. So on this side um, are all mammals. Mm -hmm. And on this side, these are all uh, perps. And so we, um, we put collection tags on each of them as if they were specimens. And they come from all over the world. Um, I'm giving Charles a tour. <laughs> Hello. This is our microscope room. Um, this is Pavitra. She's another intern this summer um, who got the uh, Eden <laughs> grant, which Charles <laughs> failed to receive. I did. Um, and this is where that. we do a lot of. Um, sorry, we're, getting, we're doing a tour here. She knows. She knows what's up. Okay. I'm usually the cameraman. Oh, you're usually the cameraman. Camera woman. Camera, camera woman. 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 Okay. <laughs> good, good distinguishment there. So um, we have a dissecting scope, so this is for doing stuff like for our project, which has to do with um, male uh, fertility traits. We look at reproductive tracts on this, on this scope, and then we have, um, we have a nicer scope for higher resolution stuff um, that we use to look at like, sperm motility and morphology, and we have a temperature controlled slide plate so we can keep everything at 37 where the sperm like it and a, and a little video camera so we can take videos of the sperm and a ton of kim wipes and a ton of kim wipes <laughs> and this is a room that's kind of shared so everybody's stuff is in here and people kind of come in and, and go out um yes this is this is um <laughs> a laser capture masterpiece keep working hard keep working hard and pavitra is an undergrad oh. from cornell cornell yes and she worked mostly on the nebraska Enclosure experiment. Where I will be in a few days. Yes. Sadly, yes. But Pavitra is staying with us. Pavitra is staying. Which is great. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, this is the, oh, let's turn the lights on here. So this is the uh, computer room where Charles spends a lot of his time, as does Pavitra. And Most of the time browsing <laughs> CNN and YouTube. <laughs> Some um, Facebooking as well. So Facebooking. Um, these are shared machines and people use them to do a lot of analysis that they can run on their own computers. Uh, this is the lab. Um, hey guys, we're doing, we're doing a tour. Hey there. This is, hey, this is Ricardo. Um, Hi, Ricardo. He is a new postdoc in our lab. I don't know what I'm doing here. And he doesn't know what he's but doing. No, I'm reading most. Yeah, but nobody really knows. It's and okay. He is going to be working on um, on sound oh. on the on the calls that Paramiscus produced, which is pretty cool. And there are some differences, some preliminary differences that he's discovered between some of our species. <laughs> this is Vera. Hi, Vera. <laughs> she works on 
She works on. None of these people have consented to be videotaped, by the way. You're gonna have to have them sign forms. Um, Vera works on the pigmentation and on um, the uh, selection that's going on on the agouti allele, which is pretty exciting. Uh, okay. It's very exciting. I shouldn't say pretty exciting. This is the gel bed where Charles runs a lot of his gels. Um, he's the only one using this right now. Yeah, that's it's kind of sad. <laughs> Hi, I'm Heidi. Sorry. BWW. B oh, so we're. <laughs> that's the last two. Yes, yeah, right. Oh. I need to make some more. Um, remember what happened when I made the last batch? Maybe I should do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Heidi is the postdoc that I work with? No, so I'm, I'm, I'm bowing out so you can take No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Charles is going to come back next year. Yeah. Charles is going to come back next year. Ideally. So this is this is Sperm Central. This is um, where Charles and Heidi and Emily all do most of their work. Um, with sperm. With sperm. Um, sometimes also with shrews. And it's a great space. Um, let's see. Uh, this is. I feel like there's some things that just you should not <laughs> you should not keep the video of this corner of the lab. Why? <laughs> no, just because like we've got like a sharps container teetering on the edge of. Eh. Bench and cages yeah. sitting on top of yeah. This is and this is where I do my work. It should be registered that I didn't make this mess. Yeah, I'm sure. My was probably me. Okay, Charles made a big mess, which he's not gonna show. And that is Jill. That's Jill. He's gonna connect autism to burrowing. Wow. That's gonna be an amazing, amazing speech. Can't wait for that to happen. No, no. Notice the, the floor patterns, you know, this is supposed to be DNA. Oh, oh yes, I'm just gonna guess. It's double helix, very nice. I didn't get that. From you didn't? I didn't get it. It's too abstract for you, I guess. It's too abstract for me. Um, so, okay, don't be <laughs> cubicle. This is the grad student <laughs> office. Um, this is where uh, we all accomplish um, all of the thinking that we the do. Work. This is Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Um, he works on. Um, the genetics of burrowing behavior in paramiscus. Oh, Ooh. he's going to show you some burrows. Hey. Whoa, check out that burrow. That is that's awesome. That's a cast wow. of a burrow, actually. So that's an inverse burrow. So what Jesse does is he puts insulating foam into the empty spaces in the burrows, and they, um, and then he can he can measure them and he can um, figure out the genes the genes that cause these mice to make these burrows. Whoa, behavioral genetics. Whoa, behavioral genetics. Um, yep. And this cool. is, yeah, these are various, various paraphernalia that we've picked up in our, in our travels and successes along the, the road of science. Um, Charles, is there... Is you're, there you're a very good host, I'm just going to say that. Okay, is there... No, I don't think so, I think you covered everything. Okay. Thank you very okay. much.